Hey, what's happening gamers? Welcome back to K-Wings Let's Plays and another exciting Brawlhalla series. How's everybody doing? Yay. So today we're going to be looking at uh, one of the previous characters, Donatello from the TMNT uh, pack. And he's going to battle oh. Chung Lee from the current Street Fighter collection or Street Fighter pack. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell to be notified when more awesome vids arrive. And special shout-outs to all our members, including our Ultimates. If you guys want to join up, all you got to do is click right here. Select the tier that'll work best for you. So, how this is going to go down, of course, the first player to win uh, two matches will be today's winner. And uh, we just have to select our characters and what just <laughs> happened... Sorry, I didn't mean to push the wrong thing. Oh, okay. Um, so just hit X. X for everything. I have no idea what that is. Just I'm sorry. pick your weapon and let's go. Ooh. Yeah, 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 Chun Li. Oh wait, Donnie had little weird goggles on, but now he doesn't. Yeah, he has like night vision goggles. He's um, Donatello from the old series, so he has lots of gadgets. Donatello does machines. That's oh, yeah. that's all you need Donatello to know. Does and if you guys want to see other Ninja Turtles and stuff like that, let us know, um, and possibly we'll do Akuma as well. But again, like I was saying. The first player to win two matches is today's winner. This is two on two, and it's lives three, three each, two, and we just brawl. fight in the uh, sewers. It's what time is? for Brawlhalla versus. There you go. Oh wait, um, my bow staff feels kind of weird. Say that. I also have the bow staff for some reason. You have spear. a spear. You have a spear. I have a bow staff. Chunli looks very cute in this. She does, but aside she... from the massive forearms. Massive forearms, and also, she looks... No, she kind of looks like Chun-Li, but... She looks like Chun-Li. She just has a big head. Like... She has a big head. Even the Ninja Turtles heads are smaller in comparison to Chun-Li's head. Yeah, her head is huge. I think it's not supposed to be, like, the Street Fighter characters that we know and love. I think it's supposed to be the Pocket Street Fighter characters. Which are another brand of Street Fighter that, um, for the most part, was used in... Um, portable games, so they made them look more cutesy and super deformed like. Oh, wow. Yeah, there were different versions of Ryu and Chung Li for Street Fighter stuff. Pocket Street Fighter comes to mind, which is basically like Tetris, like an attack Tetris thing with Street Fighter characters. It was on Game Boy mm. and Game Gear, things like that. So people basically. Waha! I threw a dragon at you. Oh, wait, what just happened? People started playing this game. And then they really started getting into it when they added all their characters then. Yeah, I don't really know who the first ever uh, guest character was added to this. I want to say it was probably Shovel Knight, but it might be even earlier than that. It could have been Raymond. Ray Raymond Legends oh, yeah, characters, Rayman. because the Viking lady is there and some other stuff. But Rayman is not in this, as far as I know. Oh, wow, so they just put random... Maybe... I mean, it's a Ubisoft game, so you would think they would have the... The right to it. I have a Mouser Scythe. That's pretty interesting. Oh, wow. Nice little Easter egg there. I, I appreciate that. Oh, from Ubisoft. Ninja Turtles. Yeah, he turned his uh, the Mousers that attack Ubisoft the sewers into uh, a weapon. That's... They a lot of the games they make me like a lot. Oh, I think I stuck out my tongue Wait, when I Ubisoft die. Ubisoft made this whole game? Ubisoft is the creators behind Brawlhalla, yeah. Oh, wow. I know. It's a pretty fun Smash Brothers clone. Actually. Yeah, this is way better than the Cartoon Network one. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. And but we'll be oh. playing the Nickelodeon one again soon because Garfield I was mean just announced. I no, the Cartoon Network one, you're correct. There was a Cartoon Network one uh, several years ago. It was terrible. I don't I don't know how good I don't, I it was, it was pretty bad. It was on the Nintendo 3DS. I know well, that. Well, I mean, how good could Garfield be as a fighter though? He looks funny, but there's no voice acting, so I mean, mm. it's just kind of meh. Oh, yeah, I forgot he came out. No, he hasn't come out yet. He's going to come out. All right, so the first round goes to Chung Lee. Slow clap. Yeah, look at how cute my arms are. Yep. <laughs> round one goes to Chung Lee. And Donnie's like, that's okay. I'll get it next time. And I will get it next time. I also think that his goggles there are a reference to a Ubisoft character named Splinter Cell, which is a, a franchise that I'm actually surprised does not have uh, any Ubisoft representation in this game. Mm. That's interesting. Huh? Yeah, it is. And we're going to go to... Chung Lee doesn't have a stage, so we'll go to Street Fighter mm. stage. Even if I tried to watch all the comics and and uh, mm? 
old school cartoons in the world. I would never have as much knowledge about that stuff as you. I've been around a long time and I grew up with it, so it's packed in my head. I literally played uh, Street Fighter when it first came out. Well, mm, technically, I, I, I was introduced to Street Fighter through Street Fighter 2 on the Super Nintendo, but I do vaguely remember in the corner of my eye seeing the original Street Fighter cab at Chuck E. Cheese, and I played it once and I thought it sucked. Um, it oh, wasn't wow. because my introduction to Street Fighter, I'm pretty sure, was Street Fighter 2, so. Going backwards to play the first game, which was nothing like Street Fighter 2, was... So the first one was better? No. That's not what I said. <laughs> I said the second one was better. Oh. My introduction was the second one, so when I went back and tried to play the original, it wasn't as good. Oh, that's what you were saying. Okay. Yeah. I, I said it pretty clear. You just didn't hear me clear, that's all. You said I played the, the cab, Street Fighter 2, and that was my introduction to it. Yep. And, and I thought it was terrible. No, that's not what I said. I said the uh, other thing. Like the Street Fighter cab. I would say Street Fighter 2. But it doesn't matter. The second one was how I got into the game. And the first one I tried at Chuck E. Cheese and I didn't like it. Because it didn't feel like Street Fighter 2 at all. Because, I mean, why would it? It was the first game. So, but... Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see, the Ninja Turtles, I knew who the Ninja Turtles were because I grew up with it. I thought you were saying that you were introduced to Street Fighter at Chuck E. Cheese. No. Nope. Uh, Street Fighter would have been introduced to at the local movie theater in Albany because they would have had... Um, I would have seen it, but I wasn't, wasn't really allowed to play arcade games very much, especially if we were going to the movie theater. Um, when... I got to play Street Fighter a lot is when it was on my Super Nintendo. Because I could play it whenever I wanted. I did get to play the arcade game every once in a while, but not before the home console release. And I did the arcade ones because I wanted to get better and I wanted to play. Not professionally, because I don't think that was really a thing back then. But I wanted to get good and be able to, you know, brag with my schoolmates. Uh, because everybody hung out at arcades as mall rats and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, but I, I couldn't because I lived too far away from the mall. Uh, the mall was like maybe a every other month thing. I thought your gaming knowledge was interesting before. Now I'm getting like, ah, I don't even know what you're talking about. Haha, -ha, winning. Just rambling on, no offense. Ah. You tried to throw a bomb and you're denied. Yeah, Luke's been up all night, just FYI people. And I'm still kicking shell. Well, it feels like I'm just beating you up and you're rambling on about a story about something. People like stories. <clears throat> I couldn't even understand what you were saying. I said something. I thought I had other abilities in this, though. I wish they would have given here's, Donatello here's, his ground here's claw. Your story. And I don't know. I wanted to play more Street Fighter because I don't know. I That's don't not what I said. I actually, I had details. <laughs> I and I don't, I, I don't speak, I don't speak in a monotone either. That's what it sounded like to me. That's because you weren't paying attention. No, that's because I was paying attention. You say so, chat. What did I say? There's no chat that can see you now. Aha! This is a video. Yay! Look at how happy I am. I'm on the board with one. Woot! Yeah, because you used your story to throw me off. Nah. I take it back. I don't want any. Yeah, I did a cheeky. Thing. Mm -hmm. I wish I could wear my Splinter Cell goggles though, that would be neat. But I don't think I can. I don't know what these ghosts do either. So I'm just gonna go with the Mouser Scythe. Why am I using. I'm using Victory Sign, but I didn't win. The Victory Sign is very common, you know. Uh, I think this. Whose stage was this again? I don't remember. This is. Oops. Well, it'll take us wherever it's taking us. Small palace. All right, so the final round will be fought here, ladies and gentlemen. Will it be? Oh, oh it's a wow. Ben 10. I recognize ben that. Ben 10. Ben 10 has his own stage. That's neat. Awesome. Yeah. So the Ben 10 stage in space will decide who will be today's winner. Will it be Donatello from the Ninja Turtles? Or will it be Chung Lee from Street Fighter? I should have gotten my spear. That would have been nice. You can actually, I mean, you can start out with certain weapons, but as you fight, I've noticed, like, the swords that are different colors mean different abilities. 
So like, um, that's my bow. Green is my bow staff. Wait, how did I move? I did get a staff. Yeah, you you changed your powers. You have to change your powers through those weird orb thingies that are blinking. And then yeah, because I started out with my um, mouser staff. Yeah. But then it switched me to the bow when I picked up that green or the green sword. So if that sword was orange, somehow then I would have my scythe. I think. I think that's how this game works. But right now it's you can see it's green, so it's not really good. We can't even pick it up. Oh, never mind. It doesn't mm. matter. I, I stand corrected. I had to get rid of my... I, I threw my spear and then I could pick this up. Right, but you just picked up the gloves, so that means the color difference doesn't matter. Either it's completely random or whatever weapon you have changes the next time you grab a sword. I'm going to test that theory. It won't let me pick up the sword. Why? So, I think the only thing I forgot to get at the store was water. Water and batteries, you said. I don't know. Did you need anything else, or...? Uh, well, I mean, I can't eat batteries, but, um, maybe some Honey Nut Cheerios. Because I ate all my Honey Nut Cheerios and Cheerios. And I like those. Oh, I caught you with a... kind of a down smash? Oh! Not cool, Spinning Daddy, bird not kick! Cool. Spinning bird kick! Oh yeah, that was a spinning bird kick. Yeah, she has her iconic moves in this. They're just, they change based on what power-up you're using, I guess. Oh, I think you just tossed your power-up. Yeah, I did toss my gloves by pressing L1. Ouch. Donnie's bow staff is unbeatable, because that's why I like him in video games. Mm. The range of the bow staff. I'm getting a little frustrated that you keep beating me. No, <laughs> oh, I can come back from that. Oh my gosh, I can come back from that. Neat. Ah, there we go. Now I have my scythe. Oof. Nope, I'm still alive. Oh, that's kind of a wimpy little... Mm. I just do a wimpy little toss there. You're smiling. Your character is smiling with a goofy smile while he's beating people up. Yep. I'm just surprised that since this is the Nickelodeon Turtles, that they didn't have it be the 2012 Turtles. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love the 87, like, Turtles so much, but it's just weird to see them, like, so... Uh, utilize so much because there's other turtle shows that are quote quote unquote modern. This show is not modern. It's can't be fun. It's the best one. It's yeah, it's crazy fun. Oh. Give me my ground claw. Wait, I can summon clones? Why? No, no clone jitsu for you, Luke. Clone jitsu. Oh. Okay, that's that's the classic kick thing from the arcade this games. This game is actually really fun to play. I know, right? I kind of wish we knew about it beforehand. I mean, we vaguely knew about it, but I was like, I don't want to play Smash Brothers clone. That's that's what the mindset I had. Haha! Oh. Winning! Oh. Hello there. Ow. I don't... Never mind. Whoop. You said I can't talk about naps when you're tired, so... It's probably not a good idea, no. <clears throat> yeah. I'd be like talking about drinking something of a, we'll say, non-alcoholic variety to an alcoholic or someone who's trying to quit. Sorry. Yeah. It's, 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 You're trying to quit napping. No, I'm not, not trying to quit <laughs> napping. I'm trying to stay awake. I know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, that didn't work out well. Oh... Propeller! Spinning, propeller! We Spinning bird kick. Wait, no, I didn't see you do spinning bird kick. I didn't. I was just saying that. Cowabunga! Ow! Cowabunga! Cowabunga! Ah! Oh, I can't taunt in death. Cowabunga! Mm. Alright, so there we go, guys. Donatello is today's winner. Thank you so much for watching. Donnie our... wins! Brawlhalla versus thing. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Again, hit up our newsletter, kwingsletsplays.com, if you guys aren't being notified of our awesome vids. And uh, we will contact you directly by email every day around 10 in the morning. So pretty cool. Awesome. Stay tuned for an awesome live stream later today, I believe, on Halo and more Lego Marvel, as well as some really cool Ultimate streams that we got in the pipeline as well. Cool. In the comment section below, tell us you want to see battle next time, and we'll do our best to make it happen. All right, guys. God bless and happy gaming. See you.